Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. What a difference a few hours makes. Any luck, I can uh, get a few things dried out now. That will be good. Um, so I've settled in and sorted the uh, few anglers of uh, three people going home today, maybe four, don't know. Um, you know weekend anglers will turn up. I know a couple of them are due down, so yeah. They'll be out slot ins nice and easy around the place. Um, I, I think I'm going to leave my rods where they are, to be perfectly honest with you. It gives me two options. I'm, I'm a bit worried about breaming all night on both rods, and I like to, that channel to the right of me that I like to fish. That's probably on film, that is. Uh, it's not too far off where the fish are showing at the moment. So I think the uh, guy in the swim next door to me must be absolutely hauling, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, them fish are well and truly in that water, I must admit. Uh, lucky man he is, he uh, beat me down there, I must admit, so that's all we can do really. Um, yeah, might have to um, put a little bit of effort into getting down here a lot earlier next Wednesday. But, uh, no, my luck, by then the fish will have uh, scooted off anyway, which will be quite funny. So I'm hoping the uh, Vivian stuff dries out a little bit today and doesn't get too damp. Over the night, it's all looking very good. The waterproof is working incredibly well, so it's nice and good. So, uh, it's beautiful. I'll take a little bit of a stroll around, I think. Uh, uh, absolutely lovely, isn't it? Really is looking good. Uh, I can't even see the swims nowadays, so so much the lake is overgrown more than it was before. Uh, Hopefully it's not too sort of bright for you. But yeah, I should use me um what's the word? Gimbal, but just like this sort of like raw footage a little bit more a little bit more shaky, you know, it looks looks like this is, you know, I've made it rather than, you know, all sort of professionally done. Must admit at some point I might have to go have a chat with the man over there. Now, the man I sent down there, he seems to be still in there. He's not moved, swap sides or anything, so I reckon he's having a few as well, so it's uh, quite good really, quite good, that sky out there, still a bit of rain around, the odd little shower and thing, still forecast, I must admit, so uh, yeah, it sort of did it a little while ago, a little bit of a shower, but now the sun's come out, a little bit of warmth in the air, it's quite nice really, um, yeah, we shall just have to uh, see what we can do uh, do next week. I've put a lot of effort into uh, work as well as the things. Realistically, so I try and get everything done in two days, and not have a sort of little morning job. I will just accept it is for what it is, really. And uh, you know, I'm going to get down here a little bit uh, later than other people. I'm just slot in around them, really. Just have to see. Just have to see. You should clearly spread out over the lake in different areas, so uh, it's, I think uh, most people are catching, so at the end of the day, it you know, doesn't really matter. I'm after the uh, old big common that's in here, that's what I'm really sort of targeting, and a uh, couple of other mirrors that I'd like. So I've got to try and trick them up, and they don't very often come out. You know, so it's getting those. Uh, Getting those areas right, getting the spots right. Well, I'll tweak me delcoms and then, you know, the endless bleeping seems to have sort of uh, faded away. I just got to hope they're now set so they're actually going to respond to a bite. And just yeah. Anyway, we'll see how we go. If not, the uh, box alarms will be back out. We shall see. Right. I'm going to go and uh, do a little bit of editing in there. And uh, will sit out hopefully later on in the uh, sunshine and uh, yeah, enjoy a relaxing afternoon. I even have a glass of wine. I don't know today actually. I don't know. Friday hope. It's uh, fingers crossed, eh? Right. <clears throat>
it's time to get the uh, what's left of the bait out. Not a lot left there. It's so nice to get rid of it all and uh, see if we can produce a few. Come on, yeah. We'll end up producing a few more green probably. But anyway, <laughs> let's hope not, shall we? We'll see. So, you know, a little bit over the short rod. Then we go. And a nice pile of uh, what's left of the left of it over the long rod. I'm not gonna. I thought I was gonna sort of change these around a little bit. I decided it's gonna be as it is. It's worn up quite nicely now. Absolute peach. That was bang on. Just in front of a weed bed where I'm fishing. Obviously part of the weed bed I dragged in last night. So it runs straight through it. But uh, I'll probably end up with a Another tension later. We don't really need it. Well, where there's tension is the carp go around, they feed, don't they? Don't really sort of argue with what comes your way. I hope it's a uh, a bit of a chunky car, don't you really? I've got four spawns over here and I'm going to do the rest of it on the other, the other rod because that is uh, Bream City, the other rod. I've sticked out a load of 20 minutes so earlier on. And uh, hopefully Keep them occupied. I'll be what it is, won't it, really? Hey, mate. Well, put this way. I'm hoping that weed bed will disappear eventually. That bait I put around it. About ten spawns worth out here, which will do me. Uh, see how we get onto the bream later, shall we? All right, all right, let's get the right direction, shall we? Where's we'll that tall tree? Don't want to go for that tall tree. Wrong spot this time, anyway. There's a spot off out there that I'm looking at. Oh boy, the accident. End up here again next week. Um, yeah, we'll see. So I keep on. Uh, my plan is, if I do get out there, I'll fish it. I'll bait this spot, and sometime over the winter, it will uh, come to fruition, and we'll be in business, really. You should be doing around over there. Oh, look, I did see it. There's a lot of spray. There's no round. I uh, come through this valley on the on the back of the lake district. Well, a couple of years back, I uh, a couple of weeks in the lake district looking for ospreys, and uh, 
didn't see one until I got back here. Would you believe it? First day back after the holiday. I don't feel right. You might notice I pull my just tweak my finger a little bit. If you can see, I sort of tweak my finger to make sure it still moves through the, through the rings and sort of stops you from losing a you spawn so much. Particle mix, <coughs> like the brain. Occasionally, some goes short, which isn't a bad thing. It's all done, my man. Well, yeah. kind of relax a bit, and then uh, a bit of tidying up. I feel. I'm early tea. I don't like lunch. I've got that over and done this one. Pack the cool box away, pack the stove away. Bait will all be gone. I doubt I'm going to do a trip for the car. I'll just get it tidied up for, for tomorrow. So. A trip to the car. First thing tomorrow. What I want, really. <coughs> Stay too long tomorrow, I finally feel I'm going to add to the, uh, the volume and tench list. <laughs> do we? No, not really. So, 
let me get one more scoop. Alright, we can that's it. I'm gonna get another one like that. I might just feed Roland to be perfectly honest with it. I haven't fed Roland this drip and keep him quiet on it. Yeah. This one goes well, I'm well feeding Roland. Perfect. Peach. And then the bait gone then. Yeah. I'm just gonna wash a bucket out of down the lake. Quite like that idea. Less, less, less required tomorrow when I get home. Right then. Pretty keen, I've got to do all this stuff, but I don't know I might do. But, uh, probably not. But I feel like if I do too much stuff, like that, it's sort of There's a one step frozen closer to going on. I'm just throwing in there to it. Each. Upside down, dry it out, and we're good. Sorted. Oh, there you go. That's all sorted. Draw my hands off. And, uh, relax for a little bit. Uh, and then, yeah, tidy up. Get everything sorted, really. Yeah, so that's basically what we got. I don't know. It's a wild guess, to be perfectly honest with you. It's about three ish. Fresh now. Oh, that's sorted, so we might end up with new tension brewing for the evening, which hopefully actually turned out to be carp. Uh, you know, as I said, the boss out there is out there, what picture bait up, picture bait up, it's frustrating as it is. You know, it's, it's, you can't stop them from doing it. And you just gotta, you know, you gotta accept it as what it is, isn't it, really? So, uh, we shall, we shall see. With, uh, um, this might set my alarm clock tomorrow morning and get up and get gone reasonably early. Probably the beer will be wet, but it's, it's pretty good forecast for Sunday, so might just do that and then, uh, um, get it out of the garden on Sunday and dry it out. That's a really good idea, really. Uh, make things a little bit better, I think. Do that. So, we'll see, really. Anyway, I've been sort of humming and hiring still about my winter stuff, so I'm going to write a little list on my phone of stuff I thought I need to sort of try and do for winter, and what I need to do, and where I need to go, and make it a little bit more enjoyable, and um, yeah, see where, we, see where we go, really, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed we can uh, use a few fish this winter, last winter was horrendous, 
one because of COVID, two because of lack of fish. Um, and the winter before was pretty much the same really as well. You know, didn't didn't catch any fish. And, you know, through December, January, and February really. So not a lot you can do about that. It is what it is. But yeah, I'd like to bring that background of what it was like in the uh, I think it's 2000, either 2000 or 2021. Uh, yeah, I think so. 2000, yeah, I think it's 2020 actually. Absolutely blistering winter. Best weather conditions are so much different. It's wet, warm weather. I was when I was fishing in the swamp, but I just know where I'm fishing now, the bivy wouldn't be. And the water level was up probably two foot. Uh, it was unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Crazy times, crazy times. There we go. Right. Got to go and do me this when we start fresh in the mind, otherwise, uh, we'll be gone. Audio. You can't hear them, that's the red arrows over the Bournemouth Air Show, that is. Well, it's about half past six now in the evening, coming into my last night. Um, there's a couple of people sort of uh, move swims. I've got two people to the right of me now. There's one person across the other side of the lake. Uh, Kev's over there. He's got his own YouTube channel you must have found by now. And uh, there's a sort of guy down in the... We call no carp swim and a guy in uh, New Point, and that's it. It's not too bad, that isn't, I don't think. Six, seven of us, so yeah. That's, uh, can't argue with that. Uh, so I think it's going to be quite warm, I must admit, at the moment. It's been a very uh, warm afternoon. It's still damp in the grass. It's quite impressive, really. So I'm going to take a seat on here, realistically, and just sit. Pan the camera around and have a have a look and have a chat and things. So yeah, we're all uh, we're all set for the night now. I think I've explained what I've done with the rods. Left them as they are. Spawned out the last of the bait. Sticked out the ladder stuff earlier on the day. Blinding result because there's an osprey flying around. It seems to keep the seagulls away, or they've just perhaps gone back to sea where they live. I don't know realistically. Let's have to see the sun's up there slowly sort of uh, going down. Um, yeah, I'm pretty confident I've had a good chance tonight. Um, haven't had any bream this evening. Which now means I'm now going to get a couple of bloops probably. Um, they seem to have sort of gone away. So maybe I've fed them off. Maybe they've moved on. Maybe the carp have moved in. Don't know. Just have to wait and see. Um... Obviously, I had a occurrence on that left-hand rod last night that I knew nothing about, thanks to me Delcom. Um, well, thanks to my settings on the Delcom. Well, anyway, it, uh, I didn't wake up, unfortunately. Uh, the wind's pushing from the sort of south, southwest, southeast, or various directions. And uh, with any luck, yeah, I'll keep blowing through the night. It'll be quite nice. Had a few fish topping last night, I must admit. It's always good to see, isn't it? Really good to see in here. Uh, yeah. Very nice out there. Nice mirror reflection. Looking gorgeous, isn't it? Do love this place. I can see it for hours watching this. I try and sort of video it so everyone can see, but whether you sort of get the same sort of sensation or feeling that I get, and I don't know. It is. Absolutely beautiful, realistically. You know, just sit here and watch with buzzers and the wind blow on the lake and everything for hours and hours on end. Obviously, I do because I've been here for very night. But yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Nice. A guy seems to be fishing out loosely where the other guy was fishing. Here he is. He's got a bait on that spot. So I think there's a guy moved in there. Was fishing the last couple of nights and then there's uh, he's got himself a guest down so hopefully he's put the guest in the 
hot seat and uh, hopefully I'll catch some fish would be quite nice wouldn't it it's what you like to do it's quite nice isn't it so yeah I can only can only hope we get something else tonight part of the sort of pile of weeds down there and the drag in last night not looking forward to doing that again I must admit but Glad I had braid on that rod, I must admit. It's the reason why I put that rod over there, really. I don't use braid on both rods. I'm very sort of, well, I don't know, I spend a lot of my time not using the same line on the same rod. You know, so I don't fish like the all, all rods on 20 pound line, all rods on braid, all rods on the same sort of line and things. Just do sort of uh, various, uh, various things, really, just to mix things up. But, uh, I am thinking if I carry on here, I'm going to have to uh, sort out the braid on both rods. And, uh, yeah, do that. I'll have to try and do that uh, Do that this week, realistically. Get it all sorted. Lovely breeze blowing, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Does look, uh, does look promising, I must admit. So, I can only but, uh, can only but hope, as I always say. It does really look promising. Uh, fingers crossed, realistically. Um, I'm off quite early tomorrow morning, so you only get a, uh, a sort of uh, bridge version tomorrow morning. And then sometime over the weekend, I'll uh, get the whole thing edited up and sorted. But I think there's going to be uh, three parts this week. Let's just hope at least two of them are fish on. But uh, who knows, really? Who knows? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. There's every chance, really. Every chance is possible. And, yeah, we'll see. Realistically, see where we go. I'll we'll have a look over in the bay. See what that looks like with the wind pushing in it. There's too a bit too much weed in there. The fish there at the moment. Can't really risk it. I must admit, there is a interesting sort of. Lack of swim is coming up on here, to say the least. And yeah, it does look good. It's pushing down here nicely, realistically. The guy's still sort of uh, over there fishing. So, I reckon there's some carp down here in this corner. I really do. But you just uh, really, really can't fish it, can you? At the moment. Not at all. You know, all you can just about do is break the margin out, push a bait down there, push sort of a bait out there somewhere. Very, very iffy what you've got to do. Not a lot, not a lot you can do about that. Oh, there we go. So, I'm going to head back now. I think there's some interesting clouds over there. Oh, in white fluffy clouds and it rains sometimes I'll have to google what the weather's going to do tomorrow morning it looks like it might be a damp night which means I might have to uh, I don't know set me um, and maybe this is up in the garden over the weekend Sunday or something like that I don't know oh well right I'm going to wander back to my swim Settle down. Don't think I'll drink and drink any more coffee because I think I'll be up too many times as it is. So we just have to see. But yeah, well, well fingers crossed for tonight. All we can do realistically. Fingers crossed indeed. Radio. Hopefully, catch up with you in the night. Hopefully, get something worth catching. Blooming good, wouldn't it? Get another chunk. Well, happy. Radio. See you soon. Shaky, shaky. What an absolute gorgeous sunset that is. Absolutely unbelievable. I need to hold it still, don't I really? Sorry about that. I'm trying to take photographs at the same time with the um, with the camera feature on my phone. But yeah, fantastic, isn't it? Lovely red reflection out there, it's absolutely beautiful 
really, really is. If you saw the, trying to walk down the swim at the moment, which is sort of on a slope full of rocks and boulders, and didn't want to trip over. But yeah, that looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Really, really gorgeous. Ah, fantastic, beautiful. Right, I'm going to set my alarm clock for tomorrow morning to make sure I'm not up late this time. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely bid you farewell. Uh, get me mozzy killer thing on the go, and um, yeah, close up the uh, air vents really. Righty ho. See you in the morning. Well, good morning from a very damp morning. It's gone six o'clock. What about, you know, last morning, I like to get up this early. Um, yeah, silence all night, nothing. Not a bream, not a tench, not a car. What I'm putting it down to? Full moon. Because there's clear skies, obviously there's not now, might be up there somewhere. Clear skies, moon was out, and um, yeah. Nothing. Perhaps you can tell why I'm up so early now. As you can hear the gunshots in the background, there's off there a Saturday morning shoot going on. There we go. Nope, that's what I'm putting it down to. The uh, clear skies and uh, full moon. I might actually do the opposite of what everyone else does and to avoid full moons. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take note actually of this. More than I do normally, but, but yeah, so well, pretty peaceful evening, pretty peaceful night. Uh, rumour stayed away, and the car has stayed away as well. It's a bit weird. So, we've got what have we got now? Um, I'll start tidying up about sort of uh, half seven, something like that. So, I've got about an hour. Sit looking out the window, watch the stuff, the bivvies, damp as you like. So, um, I'm not too worried about that. I'll just put it up in the garden later. And, uh, yeah, just sort of dry it out realistically. Um, I can get rid of some of the, um, you know, brew in a minute. I can get rid of some of the moisture. The stove on, I might do that. I uh, will see, really. It's pretty, it's pretty dry, really. But yeah, all good really, all good. Why well, it is, isn't it really? We just have to accept these things sometimes. Let's just hope for one more, we'll never know. The guy next door's topping up his swim, so he's obviously doing well out the full moon. Um, could be something to do with that really. Fish are all sort of held up in an area or travelling through that intersection route. And that's the that's the swim to be in at the moment. It's going to be uh, some hard work getting in there, I think. Entertaining, everyone's going to be fighting to get in there now. Garden oh, Bennett. Anyway. That's what it is. It shall soon wise up, I must admit. There we go. Right, let's have this brew and then uh, get all set to go, really. Alright, folks, that is it. Next job, reel those rods in. Um, everything's all piled there, ready for trip one. Divvy's emptied, everything's out, apart from bed chair. We'll do when I get back. Um, yeah, that'd be it for this week's trip. Um, hoping for a little bit more last night, but you know, enjoyed myself, it's entertaining, relaxing, chilling, and yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly good time, realistically. So I'm not going to complain whatsoever. Um, yeah, so, um, please like, subscribe and comment, just leave a, a great thumbs up or anything, it'll be, you know, it'll, it'll be good, it will all help with my uh, channel. Anyway, thank you for watching, and um, if you're on the bank, I hope you catch your fish as your dreams, realistically, that's what it's all about. If not, just chill out, relax, and just enjoy the moment, and enjoy being out there with nature. That's what it's all about as well. Bit of relaxation, bit of just a bit of chilling, bit of unwinding, being at one with the world. 
Right then, I shall see you soon, folks. Farewell. Oh, I'm really lucky. I might catch a bream before I go. I'm just, oh. Now that might have been a carp at the back of me swim. Frustrating, isn't it? But there we go. Information to be gleaned for the future. Uh, about what to do and where to go. Maybe fish further out. Don't know. But there we go. Hey, it is what it is. Oh, the man's, uh, man's just cast out to the right of me again. So one can only assume he's had uh, another fish. Crikey. <laughs> They're hauling in that swim. Unbelievable. People before, people after. Me. People complain, really. That's what it's all about. It's carp are feeding, so that's it. It's good news. Carp are feeding, we might set a chance of catching something, might we? Yeah. All we can hope for. Radio. Thank you.